So in this video, I'm going to talk about the fundamental concept of symmetric bending. So here I am just here talking. So here we can see the x, y, z coordinate system in 3D. So here a moment is applied on the object about z axis, that is the mz. And due to this moment mz, the top red zone is under compression and the bottom green zone is under tension. So here we can see the bending stress distribution due to moment mz. And here we can see that the stress is zero and the neutral axis, that is the z axis, and the stress increases linearly from neutral axis to either top or bottom edge of the plane. So it is to be noted here that the maximum compressive stress occurs at the top edge and the maximum tensile stress occurs at the bottom edge of the plane as shown in this figure. So here we can see the bending stress distribution due to moment mz for the I section on the left and for the channel section on the right. And here we can see the 2D representation of the bending stress. So here the bending stress develops due to moment mz. So here the bending stress at y distance from the neutral axis is sigma mz y by iz and here the negative sign indicates the compressive stress and the bending stress at a distance c from the neutral axis is expressed as sigma max and that is the mz c by iz and the notations are given here in detail here the sigma indicates the normal bending stress at a point this is this is the point and the mz is the moment about z axis that is this one and iz the principal moment of inertia about z axis this is the sectional property and y and y is the coordinate of the point being considered along y axis and this is actually the point here we can see a moment is applied on the object about y axis this is the moment my so due to this moment my the right zone marked in red is under compression and the left green zone is under tension and the next slide we are going to see the bending stress distribution due to moment my here we can see that the stress is zero at the neutral axis that is the y axis and the stress increases linearly from the neutral axis to the either right or left edge of the plane so here we can see the maximum compressive stress occurs at the right edge of the plane and the maximum tensile stress occurs at the left edge of the plane as shown in this figure and this my and mz both are the symmetric bending and how to determine the relation of the bending moment so for determining the bending moment we will use the right hand screw rule so why what is the right hand screw rule so in this figure we can see that the rotation is actually the anti-clockwise so we have to use the right hand and we have to rotate the four fingers in the same direction as the arrow as shown here and then the direction of the thumb will be the direction of the bending moment so this in this figure the rightward direction is the direction of the bending moment so on the right hand side figure the rotation is clockwise so if you rotate your four fingers in the same direction as the arrow then the direction of the thumb will be the direction of the bending moment so here is a practical example of determining the direction of the bending moment so here we can see the load is applied on the object and it creates a moment about y-axis that is shown here this is the my so using the right hand is to rule we can see that that the upward direction will be the direction of the bending moment as per the right hand screw rule. So this is, these are the technical supports used in making this video. 
So that's all from my presentation. So thank you very much for your kind attention. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. So keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.